What's up, folks? Chris Pleasant coming right back at you with another video. Sorry I haven't posted in a long time. Recently, I started my speech class at John Wood Community College. And uh, I uh, recently celebrated my birthday. So I'm 21 years old. So that that's going to be a new start for me. And I even graduated from John Wood. And later on this year, I'm expecting to get my degree in fine arts. It's an associate's degree, of course. Right now, I want to give you... I want to give you guys a look on my Backstreet Boys CD collection. Now, you already you already seen the videos on my reviews of these 10 albums by the Backstreet Boys. So, so I just want you to see the full collection. So check this out, folks. We have all the these albums by the Backstreet Boys. They're scattered around my bed just like this because the number of albums is 10 and I just wanted to even it out so over here we have their self-titled debut album released in the US in uh, 1997 but th but this is the 98 reissue of the album which includes the song everybody back streets back except it's the extended version of the song Next, we have Millennium, released in the spring of 1999, a few days after I turned six. Following that is their third slash fourth album, Black and Blue, which is my number three favorite Backstreet Boys album. Next up, their first compilation album, The Hits Chapter 1. Another one of their most successful albums. I love th this album. Album number 5. Their fourth slash fifth studio album, which was released in the summer of 2005 after a, a few years on hiatus. Never Gone. The last Backstreet Boys album to have Kevin Richardson in the group, by the way. Now we're going over here. It's album number six. This is the, their uh, fifth slash sixth album called Unbreakable. Now, this was their first album as a quartet. Next one. Their second album as a quartet. Released in... The fall of 2009. This is us. Now over here. We have their second compilation album. Playlist. The very best of Backstreet Boys. Now we're going to come over here. To album number 9. This is their 7th. Slash A studio album, their latest studio album, it's still in stores by the way, called In a World Like This. And last but not least, album number 10, This. I would have to say that this is my number 5 favorite Backstreet Boys album. Or maybe In a World Like This is my number 5, and, may and maybe this is my number 6 favorite. Okay, so this one is called The Essential Backstreet Boys. A two-disc compilation set with 29 of their hit songs. So that's my Backstreet Boys CD collection. If you uh, if you don't have any of, of these albums by the Backstreet Boys, you ought to get them because 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 the Backstreet Boys have amazing albums and their lyrics are unforgettable. That yeah, that's what I read in this little booklet in. Uh, the essential Backstreet Boys. That's what I read. Their lyrics are unforgettable, and and they will treasure a le and they have a legacy that will I'm sure will live on forever. So buy any one of these up. Uh, buy every one of these albums if if you don't have it. If you don't have any of them at all, but if you have some of these albums, but there are my, but you're missing s some of them. Buy the ones that you're missing. Okay. I'm Chris Pleasant. Have a good day. See you later.